Welcome back to Ben's Visto channel. I've just got a little bit of an update for you guys. Uh, I've been uh, out record shopping recently and uh, came across a couple albums that I was really liking and uh, just didn't have the funds uh, to get them. Couldn't really justify that at the time, but my girlfriend ended up uh, going out and getting me one of the records I've been really wanting to get. I've been kind of saving my money a little bit for a record store day that's coming up uh, pretty soon so uh, if you guys are into records you guys probably know it's uh, record store day is coming up pretty soon I'm looking forward to uh, a couple different records that are coming out uh, Macaulay Culkin of uh, fame of the 90s I guess uh, Home Alone and uh, a couple different other ki other uh, movies uh, a lot of movies uh, geared towards uh, teens and stuff and he also came out with a pretty crazy movie called Party Monster so if you're an adult and you can take uh, really crazy themed movies, I uh, definitely suggest Party Monster. Anyways, uh, Macaulay Culkin uh, has a band called the Pizza Underground, which is a mockery kind of of uh, the Velvet Underground. And uh, they just play kind of on the East Coast, mostly based on the East Coast. Uh, but they're coming out with uh, vinyl uh, that's pizza colored vinyl. And I don't, ha I don't have a whole lot of vinyl, I just kind of started my collection not too long ago, so I've got a couple things that I've really liked, and uh, anyways, my girlfriend ended up getting me this, which is awesome. Uh, it's uh, the Velvet Underground and Nico, uh, their first album. Uh, this is one of the newer pressings, uh, it's a limited edition, uh, non-peelable. Uh, banana, if you guys know anything about this album, the original one is uh, extremely expensive, and uh, this banana here, uh, which was created by uh, one of the famous artists, uh, Andy Warhol, uh, that image, uh, the banana was a uh, peelable sticker, and a lot of people have peeled the sticker off, or the sticker has degraded over years, and since it's uh, such a, an iconic album, uh, those ones with stickers intact, are pretty expensive so this is a newer pressing uh, but I love it nonetheless I uh, love my girlfriend for getting me that that's pretty sweet so uh, I ended up picking up some pretty awesome scores uh, this week um, I ended up uh, helping out a local club uh, it's kind of a bar nightclub they do a mixed collection of music uh, grunge rock metal uh, punk uh, EDM electronic dance music uh, country, karaoke, doesn't matter, they do it, uh, everything. <laughs> uh, they, so I was doing some lighting in there. I am a lighting engineer. Uh, that is one of the things that I do in my uh, daily job. So I was helping them out, a uh, small project kind of on the side, and uh, they ended up giving me a couple uh, pieces of lighting that I was interested in that still work, and you can probably see them right over the tank. You've probably been eyeing them. Uh, these are PAR 38s. Uh, they are made to put a small gel in. Uh, people, stage performers and stuff like that, will at least uh, lighting engineers use for stage a small insert, a small metal bracket that goes in here, a little square bracket, and then you could put different lighting gels on there or diffusers, uh, which diffuses light uh, in a desired direction or in a certain pattern. So uh, these are. A uh, couple of bulbs I just had laying around. They didn't give me any bulbs with these fixtures. Uh, but uh, anyway, so this is a 9 watt LED uh, made for plants and aquarium. I went, at, uh, went out and got one of those. So I kind of wanted to check out uh, 9 watt in one of those. And I've also got a uh, 35 watt plant and aquarium, kind of a floodlight right mm -hmm. there. So. We'll see which one works. I put some of the uh, frog bit in this 15 gallon aquarium and uh, kept some of it in the 10 gallon. I've got the water line just down about 10% in each tank right there uh, just to start water change uh, schedule. So I'll do another 10% tomorrow or 15% tomorrow. And then on Monday, uh, the following day, I'll actually do my water change. So I uh, have to uh, lower my heaters just a little bit and get them in position. But, uh, you know, that just happens for water changes. That's just what I do. So I uh, lower it over a couple days and then uh, fill it up. So it helps with uh, spawning, at least I believe. And I've also uh, raised my T5, my 48-inch T5 
uh, about two feet over the aquarium. So no more lights hanging right over the aquarium, uh, no more covers, uh, probably get some new lids. But for now I'm going to experiment with no lids since uh, the pencil fish don't seem to like to jump and the uh, epistogramma coctoides in this tank always stay towards the bottom. They're really not known to jump out of your tank. Uh, this is a pretty tall tank. They usually don't venture to the top. And the uh, epistogramma McMasteri in this tank, pretty much the uh, same, you know, never towards the top of the tank. Uh, this little 9 watt LED does give a nice little spotlight to the tank uh, without the 9 watt LED and everything uh, just hanging over it, the single 48 inch T5 hanging over all of this just uh, doesn't look awesome. But you bring the 9 watt into there and uh, it's really nice. So I've got a nice little lighted part for my plants over there and a nice little shaded part for the epistos. They kind of want to hang out uh, in a shaded cave or whatever they can. Uh, kind of same thing over here. Uh, but this guy is really dramatic actually. Uh, this halogen light that's in here. Uh, if I don't have the halogen light going on it just kind of looks like that. Uh, so the halogen light is uh, really necessary and in this application. So uh, that works out pretty well. I'm going to see which ones have been growing the plants a little bit better. I kind of just wanted to suspend my lights instead of having them on top of the tank. Uh, and I do have them clipped down uh, to this little shelf that I made up here, uh, crappily made, with some uh, some stage uh, clamps. Uh, this is made to clamp to uh, trussing, which is uh, metal tubing uh, that are, is used to hold up lights, uh, suspend lights. It's weight rated uh, in the lighting industry. So I have that kind of just suspended up there. I've got to move them back a little bit. I'll probably notch the shelf a little bit or uh, provide something else underneath here uh, so this gets a little bit better grip. It has really good grip, but you know, I'm just overprotective about it and I'll probably uh, put up a safety chain or something like that. I'm just kind of experimenting with that right now. I do have my uh, T5 kind of suspended from the ceiling up there so uh, I don't know I might do that same thing with the lights and make it kind of more of a pendant thing and hanging down so we'll see just kind of experimenting for now uh, with these lights. I've seen a couple other people use them on YouTube. I do have two more of these so uh, I was thinking about possibly putting one more on this tank uh, just to fill in this a little area over here and uh, what maybe in a single LED on this tank to kind of fill in this area over here hang it up there and everything uh, I don't know if I've shown you guys this guys this is my uh, fish painting that I got from Goodwill for about two bucks uh, so it seems to be do pretty well over the tank I don't really care if I get it wet or whatever uh, unless it's from some sort of famous artist so I'm sure it's just a uh, local artist, but whatever. Uh, it was looking pretty good over there. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll be coming out with a couple more aquarium plant talk and Episto talk videos coming out soon. Um, and I'll probably end up going over a couple different species of Episto's, um, sharing some of the research that I've done on a few uh, species of Episto's that I'm at least I'm interested in uh, getting and. Uh, and researching more of. So if uh, you've got a favorite dwarf cichlid or epistogramma, throw it down in the comments. Uh, tell me about uh, what your favorite uh, thing about that epistogramma is or dwarf cichlid. Uh, maybe recommend to me uh, something that I can make a video about and uh, give you guys some more information about different dwarf cichlids. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.